Years Later is a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode will be on Scalpel or False Face. It was released in 1977. So, does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> Thursday. What year? No. What? Year is it? Scalpel or False Face, as it was called when it first was released in 1977 and then re released two years later. This movie is unknown, I know nothing about it whatsoever. As for the actual date, I don't know it exactly because all I say is 1977. So I don't know whether it's January, February, March, June, I don't know, which is why I'm doing this on January 31st because the only free place or free week. But this movie had me intrigued because of the summary of it. It's about a doctor, a surgeon, who decides to reform this woman's face to make it look like his daughter. And I thought that would be a really interesting thriller or psychological drama thriller and it goes into not weird territories but definitely like messed up and sick and twisted this father like you know what i'm gonna do whatever i want and i'm not gonna get caught because he kills the boyfriend to his daughter heather and that's a plot point that will come back later on but she's missing for the whole movie aside from like the last act maybe second half so no one gets him for this murder she is gone she doesn't want to tell anyone aside from one person and the father just kind of let go probably because he hid the body and then he accidentally runs over this dancer puts her in a hospital does her whole surgery stuff and makes her look like his daughter one that is kind of messed up and two really creepy i get that he misses his daughter and he killed her boyfriend right in front of her but to do it like this to have her come back in a way to make this woman look like her and then to kiss her later on too when they started kissing it was really weird i was like oh no this isn't incest technically but it's going towards that way and then later on he tries to like rape her his actual daughter that comes back it's like this is sick. this surgeon this like doctor man horrible person it's the same actor that's portraying both his real and not real daughter both jane and heather which is good on her part there are slight differences to make them different before everything's revealed it seems like heather's more calm more just kind of like yeah okay i'm back he has some kind of plans for her father while jane the fake is not aggressive but more i guess jealous in a way because the daughter comes back and it's like well you know all the time's on her now not on me i think i was confused one time i think it was when they walked out in the hall with the whole pose or whatever i was like wait who is this is this heather or jane but it's not confusing which is good there was a moment where i thought oh no is he gonna try to like kiss jane but it's not jane it's heather turns out it kind of went the other way where he wanted to actually just kiss her and rape her and then this guy even kills his brother i guess i'm assuming unless i missed it he is a very powerful person in his town which is why he got away from killing the lover why or how is he getting away with this from killing the brother from killing the lover and from trying to rape his own daughter and this other girl like it's probably explained because he's a powerful person and it was also because he probably suspected that this wasn't his actual daughter she actually knows how to play piano but obviously jane doe doesn't know how to play it at all trying to call out his bluff and at first you think you know what this doctor and surgeon he's not so bad before you find out about how he killed the lover or whatnot he doesn't seem so bad he wants to leave this meeting because it's boring which is understandable and he seems troubled but not threatening at all he's hoping this girl and you think you know he's a very nice guy he comes off as someone who's genuine who isn't trying to do anything menacing or evil but as the movie goes along okay this guy is evil shouldn't be trusted and is kind of sick and twisted and then one of the uncles knew about the missing daughter like heather only told him throughout her hiding in this institution during the final act he comes along while both jane and heather fight against their dad in a way in the end heather is able to get her revenge on her father for killing her lover while jane is getting out of this whole mess she wants nothing to do with this whatsoever off like at an airplane flying away that's where the movie ends and they send the father into like an insane asylum or something like that so in the end scalpel or false face 35 years later still holds up it's still a good movie based off the premise and just kind of scalpel the title name i thought it would have been about a human psychology it would have taken place all in a hospital that was my first thought and then having some kind of psychological breakdown and then turns out the twist was that the doctor was evil which in a way it is in this movie they go outside the hospital the father's just an evil prick he is sick and twisted there's even one point where he's willing to kill jane because he has his daughter back during this water area just having more power in this town he's able to tell the police hey kill this lady catch her and kill her and the actress who played both jane and heather did a good job props to her to having to play two different characters i'm sure it wasn't too hard. maybe it was hard but props to her for doing that pulling double duty so yeah go watch this movie it's currently on tubi right now as of recording this in 2022 if it goes somewhere else then i don't know but it's a good movie i would recommend it go watch it so that's it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching